Hey guys, what's up? This is Simone Mularoni from DGM, and you're listening to According to Metal. It's time for new metal album reviews. the unmistakable sound of Blaze Bailey with Escape Velocity. Uh, that's off of Endure and Survive, which is the second installment of the trilogy known as Infinite Entanglement. Uh, now, Blaze, um, whenever you say the say the name Blaze Bailey, people it, it seem to immediately go back to Iron Maiden. And we're now, this is the ninth solo album since then, and, and that was 20 years ago. Dear God, so, it's, he's had nine albums since then? Yes. This Holy is shit, ninth. I didn't realize that. So, so yeah, 20 years have gone by. Can we please give up the Iron Maiden, you know, uh, description whenever we say Blaze Bailey? Uh, so, as many of you know, Infinite Entanglement, when it came out in March of last year, um, exactly one year ago, was runner-up uh, for me on Album of the Year. I thought it was phenomenal. Jason, you didn't quite like it as much, if I recall, but you did like it. Um, I was surprised at how much I did like it, because I went into it going, eh. Yeah, but you definitely yeah. liked it more than I did, certainly. Right, right. And, and it's you know now a concept trilogy, so... Um, at any, you know, at any rate, um, you know, I've, I've got some thoughts on it. Um, I'm just going to give you a little hint. I like this as much as the first one, but Jason, um, you know, I know you were a little bit more of a critic than I was a year ago. So before I dive into my thoughts, what are yours? Well, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised on Infinite Entanglement because I went into it kind of with lowish expectations. Um, I like Blaze Bailey. I think he gets a bad rap, especially um, for some of the, the, the work he's done since leaving Maiden. And even some of the work he did in Maiden was pretty damn good, but it wasn't Bruce Dickinson, so everyone thought it sucked, which isn't fair to him. Um, but I know that, like, to your point, Biv, I mean, it was a runner-up to your traditional metal album of the year. I mean, you really dug Infinite Entanglement quite a bit. And the story of Blaze is really fascinating. I mean, he's a guy who continues to do what he does um, and continues to be a one-man project, essentially. He doesn't have a band. When he travels and tours in Canada, he outsources the job to a Canadian band who is his band in Canada. And then when he comes to the United States, he may bring the guys from Canada. If not, he'll have an American band who will do the same. I mean, it's pretty damn amazing on what his setup is when he performs live, but he still tours. He still works his ass off. And again, we'll be nine albums in 20 years since leaving Maiden. I mean, that's pretty incredible. Um, but, um, you know, Endurance Survives, the title track, starts off really solid track. Really like that song. But to me, where the album really picks up, Bib, and I'm curious your thoughts, when I heard Escape Velocity, which we just played, uh, and Blood, both of those really stand out for me. Escape Velocity is a very melodic, gallopy riff to it, and Blood is at times a dead-up Iced Earth track. Like, um, musically, Really good. Uh, so both uh, uh, um, Escape Velocity and Blood were the two tracks, three tracks in. I thought that Endurance Survive was good, but Escape Velocity and Blood, I'm like, holy shit. This is pleasantly, surprisingly, even more so than some of the tracks I remember. I mean, Human off of Infinite Entanglement was really good, and that was a standout track for me. These two stood out to me right away as being some of my favorites on the album. Well, um, <laughs> what's interesting is... I loved Endure and Survive. Um, Escape Velocity and Blood were good for me. And then the following track, Eating Lies, might be one of my favorites on the entire CD. <laughs> it's funny you say that because I, I, it's an acoustic song, has some folk elements to it. And Blaze's vocals actually really fit there um, on the song. But the only problem that I have, and I noticed it on this song for me, and my only knock on Blaze is that 
Blaze to see, Blaze seems to sing with the same inflection. So whether it you know it, the, when the the second verse the acoustics go away and it's almost a slow metal ballad. It doesn't matter whether it's acoustic or there's metal to it or if it's an up tempo track or whatever it is. He kind of sings the same in many songs on the album. 